This is my favorite fountain because it's located in Penn Valley Park, and this has been my backyard for the last three years. It's my absolute favorite place to come when I'm seeking some peace and serenity. I have no idea what I would call this fountain. Um, it's located on the north wall of the Liberty Memorial, and I guess it's sort of, if you're going to the World War I Museum, you're not gonna see this fountain. Really what this place represents to me is a sort of escape from the everyday, and, and just, um, I would come up here with my dog, try to tackle this hill, and um, every time I'd pass by this fountain, and it's just, just a beautiful sort of ambiance in a remarkable place. As long as music has been in existence, I think music and nature go together, and music and human suffering go together, and um, pretty much anything that human beings experience can be paired with music. So uh, in, that, in that sense, music is very much linked to this area. The Bach Chacon is really one of Bach's most profound works, and I think if I were to play something uh, for the bereaved, or if I were to play something in remembrance of people who perished in war, I think I would choose this piece. I, I've been living for the last three years in the crossroads, and uh, it's kind of a concrete jungle there. Um, and so really this was my backyard for the last three years. And it just really represents sort of a sense of peace and serenity for me in Kansas City. There's always people here, I think, uh, enjoying, enjoying the surroundings. A lot of times there'll be people hanging out around the fountain trying to see how far in they can get without breaking the law. Another great thing about this fountain is that you have a spectacular view of downtown Kansas City and, uh, of course, probably the crown jewel of that skyline, I might be a little bit biased, of course, is the Kaufman Center 